What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to create a Cloud9 environment in AWS for free. So first things first, what is Cloud9? Cloud9 is an IDE that you can just host on an EC2 instance in the cloud. So you can host this on like a virtual machine and you don't have to download any software to, you know, create a project basically. You have the IDE in the cloud and the project is stored in the cloud already. And you can actually use this for free. Like, um, yes, when you create your AWS account, you'll have to put in your credit card, but that doesn't mean you'll get charged. They just want that information in case, you know, you use the resources over the free amount that they allow you, then they'll start charging your card. So they actually give you, they're pretty generous with uh, the amount of free stuff they give you. I'll show you guys in a second, but first things first, just want to show you how to create the cloud9 environment so go up here on the search bar on the top left and type in cloud9 and here we'll see a cloud9 ide for running writing and debugging code and one thing i want to mention like i forgot one thing that's really cool is that you can uh, write in this environment with multiple people at the same time so really good for team projects you know you guys want to build like a small uh, app together like a few of you might as well use Cloud9, work three on one IDE at the same time. And you know, it just helps a lot. I've used it myself in school and it's it's good for like small team projects like that. So you'll see that it's hosted on an EC2 instance and that's basically what's free to an extent for uh, Amazon users or AWS users under the free tier. So um, I'm just gonna create the environment first and then I'll talk about how it's free. So you wanna go to create environment on the top right, click on that, uh, give it a name. So let's say my cloud nine server testing. Okay, I'm gonna create a new EC2 instance just because I want it on its own instance. Um, you can also put it on an existing server you'd like to use, but for simplicity, I'll just leave it on this for now. Um, and then, yeah, you'll see if we wanna create it for free, I recommend just leaving it for this because it's free tier eligible and it's ideal for educational users and exploration you know it's also good for small web projects as well i'll be honest it's not gonna use more resources but you know um if it does then they they just charge you a little bit over but they'll give you a warning and then they'll give you the option to upgrade to this as well so for now I'm just gonna select the free tier i'm gonna scroll down and believe that's it so timeout um this is a important setting actually so usually don't like if you want to save resources that your uh, ec2 instance uses select a lower about for this one because that means like you know the less time that it's inactive the quicker it'll go into hibernating and save you resources so leave it at 30 minutes honestly um, you'll just have to restart it every time you go into it if you leave it for more than 30 minutes that's up to you but yeah anyways enough rambling gonna create the environment and here we go. So I have my Cloud9 server. And when I click into it, I want to open it in the Cloud9 IDE. So you can just click open here. I'm going to open this in a new tab. And it's just creating my environment. But I already have one created. So let's just try this one out and see if it has to load it. OK. Yeah, see, this is what happens when the EC2 instance goes into hibernation. It stops, right? It stops using resources, so it has to start the instance. I should have started this before the video. Um, let's see if one of them will connect. Just gonna do the jump cut to here, just cause I messed my last outro up. But basically I have my Cloud9 environment here. I have my console, so I can type commands in here. Like basically I created a Flask environment. So I typed in like Python install Flask. You know, you can do the same thing with Node, NPM install. And yeah, you have your own file structure to the left up here. And then you have, um, you know, you can view the console this way or you can hide it and view it, things like that. So that is how you create a Cloud9 environment. Now I'm just going to go into why it's free it's because we created this on an EC2 instance. I have some links open here um, and you'll see I looked up Cloud9 pricing. New AWS customers who are eligible for the AWS free tier can use Cloud9 for free. If your AWS Cloud9 environment makes use of resources beyond the free tier, you are charged normal rates for those resources. And even then it's like, 
two bucks a month, one buck a month, so super cheap. But yeah, let's see what this actually means, this free tier. So if I open this in a new tab, um, you just scroll down, and this is basically what it is. Because if you search Cloud9 in here, it won't find anything, but since it's hosted on an EC2 instance, this is what's free. You get this free for 12 months, and yeah, you get 750 hours of it of it being hosted for per month for free, which is a ton. So yeah, especially if you're using it in a small project, like with your with a few people. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.